something snapped, did it? Yeah. What the hell? Well, that happened. And when it happened? Well, just then, obviously. Just then? Yeah. What now? I don't know. I, have to... I think that just goes around there. And yeah. then... Maybe just... Oh, yeah. That'd be right. I think that just, honestly... I don't know. I think we need to call someone. What? Really? No. I think that... It's not the brakes brakes. It's just the... It's handbrake. Oh, it's just the handbrake. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, I'm good now. I thought it was like the connection nah. to the actual so, brakes and you were like, oh, it's fine. I'll just nah. do this. I haven't snapped. It's just need to thread it back through that and then... Tighten it again? Tighten that again, yeah. Okay. That's okay then. <laughs> I was like, you're not fixing the actual brakes. Yeah. Okay, cool. How you going? <laughs> Getting burnt, probably. Probably. That's right. Just um, did it before, but still a bit loose. So. Oh, you're doing it again? Yeah, well, I had to tighten it up a little bit. Yeah. No, quick, easy fix. I it, felt it was a bit. Um. You said it was loose yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. But not snapping. Does that mean that that's just worn to the point of just falling off, like coming out? No, no, that's not worn. That's like how it has been. No, no, so no. Like so, this has just slowly crept up yeah. and up. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's probably just been just rattled out maybe some lock nuts in the future instead of just yeah just nuts. another thing for us to check before we leave i reckon yeah at least it's not like a safety thing while we're driving though that's probably the main thing yeah it's more, but yeah. probably just yeah either carry a few spare ones of that or even like a whole spare crimp like clamp set up yeah because if that whole thing came off we'd be boogered we'd probably or we just, just couldn't to, unhitch no we just have to probably stay the one night here and then go on to Camping Coffin Bay or something tomorrow. And yeah. I don't know. Okay. That should be cool. just about done. I'm going to be able to get the kids out of the car shortly. It's hot out here. It is, but. It's a bugger because it's really nice here. Give the kids a bit of a run around. Yeah, spot some emus on the way in. How cool is that? Yeah. Um, but it's really hot. Alright, well, I'm going to give that a go. See if that tension's up properly. Okay. Good. Beauty. That's better. Got one more. <laughs> yeah, it's not going anywhere. Cool. Good job. Good stuff. Lincoln, are you having the best day out here? We're having the best day at this cafe. And we're going to go zooming. And you need to wait. Yeah, you need to just wait, darling. And oh. now we're going. How good is it? <laughs> I don't know, we haven't eaten yet. <laughs> How good is this boy? This is the first time I have had oysters since before Scarlet. We went a bit oyster crazy before then. Hmm. Straight down the gullet. They're good. Good. Yeah, now I'm like, Wondering why I stopped for summer. Just, you know, your everyday emu walking down the main street. Look, look, look! I can see the animal. Emu. Push truck. We are about to do the Gallipoli four wheel drive track. Boy, it's sledding down the tires. We've got some friends here. We're gonna do it together and see what it's like. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. First. Is it Gallipoli track? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Pause it, pause it. We're gonna go check this out. Got a little oh, convoy. Convoy get going on. Oh, you can't see him. Going on today, which is a bit cool. It's not really like too crazy. No, not yet. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the next pick looks like because we had some people come the way back and they were saying that once you get past the beach bit, there's a few 
good spots that are how you're going, but... Um, we don't know yeah. if we're going to go that far, though. No, nah, we we'll just do what we can. We'll do the 4Ks and then... Um, check out the beach. Check out the beach and... Yeah. What do you reckon, kids? Bumpy? Good's this. So it's Gallipoli Beach because this is where they filmed Gallipoli in 1981. So you can access the beach from down there. There's a bit of a goat track that you can walk down to the beach, but I don't think we're going to do it because we've got the dog. <laughs> we got kids. <laughs> And little baby, so we'll give it a miss, but pretty good center. No, you could you could easily make it out here in a two-wheel drive car. Yeah. Um, mainly just the clearance more than anything. There's a couple of little ledges that you sort of could drive up and over, but yeah. If you've got the clearance, you'll be right. But yeah, we had fun. Um, like I was saying though, that walk down to the beach is pretty steep, so obviously you got capable kids. It's all right, but ours are a bit. I think. Like they're capable, but we just had the dog. We had Linky yeah. with us. We had too many things. We were holding like a tin of like snacks and yeah, it wasn't um, our day to do that. We've done lots of adventures with our kids that maybe not everyone would push their limits to. Um, but we, yeah, you could do it quite steep, quite slippery um, and just a beach really down the bottom. But yeah, it was cool. What do you think? What do you think? Was it good? <laughs> was it good? <laughs> now nah, we had fun. Food. Like wants lunch. Um, but yeah, we had fun. We're gonna go eat into Coppin Bay now. Get some good oysters because yesterday's lunch was less than. Um, and we're gonna do a cook up with these guys for dinner. Uh, make some Kilpatrick oysters. Uh, we haven't really decided what else. So yeah. That's our day. How good is this? Oyster vending machine. Grab some oysters now. I'm gonna make up some Kilpatrick later, I reckon. So I think it just works like a normal vending machine. You put the money in and oysters come out. They're good. Look at that. Beauty. So good. Top and bay, baby. <laughs> Top and bay. And then there's just sausages for the kids. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yes. That's good. Didn't think it was this easy. <laughs> good idea to try, getting the tray. Yeah, I just saw it and said like oyster slash taco tray. I'm like, yep. Oh, they would sell a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. 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 Oh. Fresh as. Oh, yeah. Oh, boom. They're a lot better than a 
Oh shit, man. That's good. <laughs> wow, so fresh. That's it. Yeah, I didn't even know if I was there. Yeah. 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 They are good. Yeah? They are good, but I, I can't really taste the oyster. No, you can't. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> First drive in the car and the last one doesn't count. Why? Because you're on your bloody family's farm. Did you get the... No, I drove on a main road. Technically. <laughs> you're getting me on a technicality here. I drove between the farms. It was about 500 metres on a dirt road. Did you get the... Well, now I'm going to climb up this hill. Yeah. So, Did yeah. Did you get the map? Yep. Did you get the white map? Yes, thanks, Scarlett. Uh, so, yeah, we've got a bit of 20 minute drive to Greenlee Beach. Come on, foot down. Can I just keep going? Like, yeah. But it's just rubbing the shit out of it. Bump it up a gear then. Well, you said just stay in first. No, I'm trying to listen to your instructions. <laughs> but Blame it giving, on the instructor. Not giving me further instructions. About 20 minute drive to Greenlee Beach and we've got a couple of nights there. So we'll see how Kayla goes. How are you feeling so far? Good. I've only driven on dirt now. Yeah. I've what still... Up? Not hit a main road yet. Not the main road. I'm pretty sure we talked about it before, but yeah, we just want. Obviously, Kayla wants to learn. Like, she's not scared of driving it. Um, but yeah, we just want to be able to build, I guess, the same skill sets together. Yeah. Because yeah, like obviously, I drive 90, 95 percent of the time with the caravan. So, well, 100 percent of the time. But um, yeah, if something were to happen to me, like I do a shitty backflip and break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla needs to um, be able to drive the family, so... Not just that, like, I don't... It's hard, because I sit in the front seat and I do a lot of bookings or researching and stuff like that, but I like driving. I do miss driving, um, so it's nice to get back in the, the front seat yeah. and do some driving. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I am thinking while you're sitting there not doing any research, I'm normally like looking at where we're going, what we need to buy, what we need to do. Yeah. Um, well, so, yeah, yeah. Like, we're pretty lucky that you've actually sorted the next, you know, next um, few like, days or weeks, I guess, accommodation-wise. So we don't actually have that much to research at the moment. Most of our stuff's over west that we're trying to beat the holidays. Yeah, so we, I don't think we've actually talked about it yet, but we were trying to not book anything. And um, then we kind of ran into some people and they were like, you need to probably start booking. There's 180 days that they book out from and they're all fully booked. And it is like crazy, like doggy dog world for bookings at some of these places. So we fluked a three day spot at North Lafroy and um, we are trying to book 14 mile because that was our stop. We didn't really care about anywhere else. We just wanted to go to 14 mile, which is Coral Bay. Um, so I'm stoked about North Lafroy, but I'm trying now to find a spot at Coral Bay somewhere around that time frame. Um, and it's proving really, really difficult. So yep. we need to book that. We need to book Broome because everywhere is like solid, sold out. So um, yeah, it's a little bit daunting. But then again, that's what this trip is kind of about. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get some of these spots booked in that we do want to go to and the rest is just whatever, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. we've got the next couple of weeks booked out anyway. So, well, at least planned somewhat um, leading up to the Nullarbor and the Nullarbor itself. So that Easter. gives- Easter, we booked Easter. Easter. yeah. So that actually gives me a good chance right now just to sort of you know, help Kayla out with anything that she's got to ask like with the towing and that. So I can sort of be 100% focused on yes. this at the moment.
these are probably the worst corrugations we've hit so far on this trip and Kayla turned them like a champ. So. Yes, I do do all the heavy lifting in this family. Listen to yourself. <laughs> uh, tickets. Alright, so we made it. So, there's Greenly Source. Greenly Source. <laughs> <laughs> Greenly North and Greenly South. So, caravans and camping, bang a left. And I think Greenly North's a bit rougher, isn't it? You can't really take well, the it's day parking only. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Just when we were talking up, how good you were at organising everything for your passenger oh, seat. shut up, it's a leap year. <laughs> so, yeah, we rocked up and we see our site and there's someone parked in our site. And then we realise that it's a leap year. First thing you do is check your booking. <laughs> so I checked my booking and it's for tomorrow. Um, so there's no service here, so we've just driven up the hill to get one bar of reception to book somewhere else but this place has showers so we are struggling for water at the moment because there the is sorry the place we're going to yeah, yeah the place we're going to has water our uh, showers so it's actually a good thing because we have already done two days on our tanks and we have another six and nowhere really to fill up and we can't pour water in our tanks from our dairy <laughs> because it doesn't work um, so yeah, it's actually a good thing. We go, everyone will shower in this campground that way and save a day's worth of water. They've got toilets as well, so we can save a day on the toilet. So really, it's a blessing in disguise. Yes, <laughs> So yes, and we might have reception for another day, um, which then we can be prepared for no service for the next two days. So. Um, maybe we can make some phone calls, speak to some family today. Yep. Um, and because yeah, we've been pretty poor in um, having service to be able to speak to people back home. So maybe we can rally up some of that and go off grid for no service for the next two days after that. So oh, yeah, back, I reckon back here tomorrow. <laughs> Try it again Take tomorrow, time. and hopefully no one's in our campsite tomorrow. <laughs> Or at least we know that we can shoot them along tomorrow. Yeah, because you booked for the first. <laughs> because I've booked for tomorrow. So, yeah. that's all right. We'll try it again tomorrow. And we might try and climb this mountain. If the kids... How cool is it? Got these cute little things. Every hour. And there's about five. And the boats are coming on. Basketball ring. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that's a swing. <laughs> okay, hold on. There you go, yeah? Alright, ready? Okay, you count me down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Wow! You ready, Scar? No, uh, sure. Are you ready? No, We're about to go climb. This big thing. No dogs, so luckily it's cold enough today that uh, we're going to leave Alfie in the car with the windows down. It's not too hot. And uh, see how far we get. Let's go. How do you reckon, Linky? Ready? How many steps have 
You ready for lunch? No. And then you want to climb up that hill, don't you? Yeah, let's see how high it is. What do you reckon? Yeah. To get to this point, it's like let's maybe see five how minutes. High it is to fall down. That was with um, complaining. <laughs> one child, one child that? complaining. But yeah, Can help me? it's pretty cool. Alright, so along with the drone, we also bought this bad boy. So, snake bite kit. Because um, we've already seen, what, probably four or five lizards on the way up. Lizards? But yeah. no snakes. I know, but when there's snakes, there's lizards. So, survival first aid. That's just a good sign that we haven't used it yet. And yeah, just comes with all your bandages and wraps and everything. As well as a couple of first aid things as well. So. Maybe we'll open it up when we get back to camp. Yep. We'll look through. But yeah, definitely always bring some safety gear. How cool was that, eh? That was so cool. We just climbed that. Not, to, not all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, cameras never do it justice, but yeah, that was pretty cool. It's always the things the kids say they never want to do, and then they get up there and then they're going on how cool it is. And, he loves it. Yeah. And they get a sense of achievement out of it as well. Like, and it wears them out. Good for mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you that know. was wicked. Love that. So yeah, back to camp now. Back down to that Greenlee Beach camp. Let's see how... Hopefully it's a little bit less windy than it has been. Cause yeah, it's, it's been windy. blowing its guts out all day. So hopefully a bit less windy. Kids are going back to have a movie and we'll probably start getting dinner ready. What do you got? <laughs> like, yeah, but... Decided against that one. If we were with other people then, yeah. <laughs> By ourselves. Stop. So there's steps for lady in 19... Wow! Wow, this is... You're gonna count them? I'm gonna count them. What? Can you be? Oh, let's see, let's see. You made it! What can you see out there? Nothing, just massive waves. Mass Daddy! We're all up here. Oh. We all got up here.
Joys of having a baby on the road. Just another tooth punching through. Got some <laughs> Poor boy. Got some frozen fruit there. How's that linky? Is that making it better? Once this one's through, you should feel <laughs> Excuse the crying. <laughs> Last night at Greenlee tonight. The movie night. I like this part. Don't really have a plan where we're going tomorrow, but we're um, getting distracted by the music. But, um, <laughs> nah, I think we're just going to go into Cummins, a bit of a detour. Uh, I'll do the old dump point and fill up some water and probably figure it out from there. We're looking at Kayana, maybe. Let's see how we go. Are you kidding me, mate? Make your bloody five-star clothesline here, and you're still using your little lazy Susan. Mom, Lincoln's on the ground. Get safe for yourself. It's throwing knickers. Unbelievable. Anyway. We just got here at Kiana Park. Beautiful little grass spot here. How long has it been since we have grass, you reckon? Oh, like at least three weeks. Yes. Yeah, I think we took it for granted before, but after a few weeks of dust and sand and stuff, definitely welcome this grass area. So I think 20 bucks a night, compelled you? Yeah. Yep, 20 bucks a night. All honesty system, we've just rocked up. I reckon there's one other camper here, but it's got this prime little spot here. Think the sun's gonna set right there. There, you reckon? Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. We're think, we were thinking one night, but see how we go. Might have to crash too. Just, just depends to see what there is to do around you. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do. It's more of a pass through. Yeah. And we have no water <laughs> at all. So yeah, lucky that they've got toilets and showers here as well, so we'll make use of them and uh, yeah, move on tomorrow I guess. We have just pulled off the highway to Colton Bakehouse and I am so excited to try this. Everyone raves about this stuff, so let's have a little look-see. How cute. How cute is this place? So everything's here until sold out. Oh, there's quite a bit. So what are you, what are you getting? Sticky fruit buns? Sticky fruit buns. And a loaf. Hot up loaf if we can. If we can get one. What about that's, this one? That's your Vienna, I reckon. Oh. Everyone talks about these sea fruit buns, so we'll have to try them. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. Right, there's heaps of buns there, but we might just grab some Vienna, I reckon. Yeah, this one here? Yep. That looks good. Oops, that looks pretty good. Yeah. And I reckon <laughs> let's get these sticky fruit buns for Becca yeah. and John, these are coming for you. Oh, oh um, flowers sourced locally as well from Cummins. How cool is that? This is so cool. So this is just off the highway. Where are we? Between uh, Flinders Highway. Flinders Highway. Between Elliston and Port Kenny. Right, so the sticky fruit buns are $10 per four. And we got the multi-grain because they didn't have any white loaf left. So eight bucks for a loaf of bread and 10 bucks for the fruit bun. So fingers crossed it's good. Okay. Come on, Mum. I can I can see it. Do you want to try one each or half a? Try a half a. You ready? <laughs> you just sniff it. Yeah. Uh, I don't like snakes. What? I don't like snakes. It's not snake. I said sniff. 
No, sniff. Sniff, smell it. No. <laughs> Good start. You want to try that one? No. Give it a try. You said you were hungry. Give it a try. I don't want it. Right, that's that one. Why not? I don't want blueberry one. It's not blueberry. You love these. Try it. No. Alright, just have a little bite. Right. You have that bit then? Do you have those? No, all my own. Alright, right, you ready? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. The clown here is like a hot sauce bun. I can hear it. Mm. I can hear it. But freshly baked this morning. This morning. Oh, that tastes so good. Heat it up with a bit of butter. I know, but now we've already eaten it. Oh, I know. We'll share that one later. The last one. Oh, we might actually get these. Cause kids won't eat them. Mm. We're good. Mm. Definitely recommend Colton Makehouse. Starting to think I should have left the tires down a bit. And we should have put the caravan on. Yeah. Whoopsies. I don't know if you can see anything on there, but. So on the road out to the Talia Caves anyway. And yeah, it's just a bit corrugated out here. Um, probably not too bad in if you're just in a car, but it's on the caravan, you feel every little bump. It's like just, just a little bit bump there. What do you reckon, kids? Good. Good. So, we're going to see if we can pinch a spot here for the night. And go and explore the caves. Yep. And then we had, we drove to Venus Bay to get something. I've already seen it. Yeah, I know. Starling. Not necessarily. <laughs> when did you want to eat it? Now you just ruined it. <laughs> now what are you going to do? You're going to have to cut all this out. And then, what are we doing? Yeah, drop in there just to grab that and then back here to explore this area. Heading into Streaky, stay night at a mate's place and then back to Venus Bay for three nights. So, a bit of jumping around but then we should finally get a few days of kicking back and catching some fish. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Um, and oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder how much shit is everywhere. There's gonna be shit everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, and there's still so much to go. But yes, this is life now. We'll go and uh, open the caravan and see what falls. Let's go. Let's go find these caves. Uh, do, you, uh, do you want to hold the steps? The steps? Yeah. Hold mum's hand. Do you want to hold mum's hand? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to get in the steps. Okay. Let's go I find I these caves.
Is that not supposed to come apart? No, I don't think so. But it has? Yes. Do you want a spare hand? <laughs> oh, mechanic in the making. <coughs> yeah. Bless me. Maybe not. I'd like so much if you broke it again. I was going to ask you how the drive went with the flies down so much better than the uh, first drive, but um, no, we think we should have just left them. How you going there, Rich? Yeah, great. <gasps> so I've lost all the ball bearings out of this fitting so it doesn't lock in. Um, we don't know when. You only just let down the tyres half an hour ago, yeah. so. So now I've got to hold it in with, together with my hands, which is not ill, but. But it's working. Yeah. And that one's locked on for the first time in however long, so. Yeah. You've got to make it work somehow, right? That's it. How'd we go? We got there. Couple of worked up a sweat. It's hot. It's like 36, 37 degrees out here already. And, um, yeah, that was hot and sweaty. And <laughs> on the last tyre, we've just, I've just gone and turned the caravan off. Everything's all dusty. I've just noticed this bad boy. So, not really much point putting a caravan on if the windows aren't shut. So, that will be interesting later. What do you reckon? What's your bet? What's that? Scarlet's bed. It's gonna be dusted. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go sus. So, it's a little bit dusty, but considering what we just drove on, it's pretty good. But here's a reminder to make sure all of the windows are shut. Especially the kid whose job it is to shut the windows. All right, pulled up at Venus Bay for a few nights. We've got three nights here and finally set up. And this, um, I think this lady comes around regularly with uh, Little cart of baked goods and stuff, so we just picked ourselves up a and little a chili white bun. Yeah. and a white bun, a little white, white roll, a bit of chili and cheese sourdough, and a bit mm. of dip. So, ah. yeah, get yum, yum. stuck into this, and then yum, 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 we've got yummy. a boat hard tomorrow, so it's gonna be fun. Fingers Hope crossed, <laughs> yeah. Fingers Hope crossed, boys can catch something now that we've got a boat. Yum, Hopefully, yum. the weather holds up, and yum. yeah, we catch some fish for once. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have just hired a boat. Yeah. We're at Venus Bay and we're all about to pile on in here. Dog's in already. And dog's never been in a boat before. Kids have never been in a boat before, like this. And boy's never driven a boat before. <laughs> so this is gonna be Not for a while, interesting. Either. But fingers crossed, wish us luck. Oh. Turn around, I want to get in the boat. You can go in the boat, but you need a life jacket. Is that right? I think. Uh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. Like I don't know how we're going to catch anything on this. We'll be right.
fish. Oh, we, got, we got some fish. <laughs> we were donated some fish. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we didn't catch it, but um, yeah, no luck, but it was good to get the kids out on the boat anyway. Yeah, it was fun. Um, you got some fish? Yeah. I yeah. think, um, if... Yeah, didn't you see us catch them, Scarlet? <laughs> yeah. Um, if we were fishing just straight off a beach, um, to open water, launching it the boat yeah, the beach, yeah, it would have been a little bit more um, fun, but we were obviously battling with quite a few like channels and um, shallow areas here, so yeah. um, made it a little bit harder to just um, enjoy it. But yeah, so it was good. It was yeah. good fun. Well, we took Alfie out, and he just laid down the whole time. So Alfie was super chill. Alfie was awesome. The kids were good. Lincoln had a little nap. Yeah, it um, was fun. It was just a little bit more stressful than just. <laughs> And it's like my first, right. first, time, first time being the captain of a boat by myself. Yeah. So, so. It's, um, like I've only gone out with like mates and family and stuff before, and obviously I haven't been in the driver's seat. So this was a bit different for me. And then that meant Kayla had to juggle the kids all by herself. Yeah. So, um, no, it's good. So at Venus Bay here, you can rent the boats out, obviously, what we did. So I think you can do the two seater for 25 bucks yeah. an hour, minimum of three hours. Yeah. And the four seater which we had with the 20 horsepower engine, you can do that uh, for 30 bucks an hour. Yeah. So yeah, 90 bucks for the what three hours? Three well, hours. Yeah, we're out there for the three hours. And the kids, I actually thought we'd have to bring the kids in um, and yep. tap out, but um, yeah, the kids loved it. They were great. And you can be complete um, rookies as well because they set the boat up for you and everything, full of fuel. Fuel was covered in your costs and. Yeah. And uh, life yeah. jackets and everything like yeah, that. So, real good. Um, but yeah, we had a bit of fun, and now we got some intel on best times to fish for squid off the jetty. So, fingers crossed. Tomorrow morning, we yep. might be out there squidding. See how we go. Cook these bad boys up. Yes. They're like, you know, borderline free camp. Hi. Well, I've made a little day trip out to. Murphy's Haystacks, probably what, 20 minute drive from Venus Bay? 25? Yeah. Some big boulders. We are determined to catch something at Venus Bay. It's high tide and we're gonna give it another red hot crack and we're gonna try again tomorrow morning and we're just going to try <laughs> until we finally catch something. Get on. What have you got? Tom's got a squid. We're only just hanging on. <laughs> what is <laughs> Got a squid. Pull her up. It's jammed up again. Yeah, I'll grab it. Ready? Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> you lost it. Get him again. Ah, oh, well it's the closest luck we've had anyway. <laughs> Go again. It's like two fishing missions in one day. <laughs> Look how stroppy you are. <laughs> You had it at the cusp and... Uh, I took a tentacle with me. <laughs> Did you eat it? No. Yeah, spewing. But at least we know we're biting. That's a start. They're biting, sorry. <laughs> we're biting. Oh. So we're going to come back out tomorrow morning. Yep. Early morning mission. Yeah. Haven't checked it's... what time it is. The high tide. But... Nah, we'll be alright. But um, yeah, a little bit of excitement anyway. Yeah. Try again tomorrow. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. What do they say? Plenty more fish in the sea. Plenty more fish to see. So we have just left Venus Bay. Thoughts? Yeah, uh, <laughs> underwhelming because we we're expecting to catch a heap of fish uh, and that didn't happen. And um, yeah, I didn't realize how tight the caravan park actually lo was. She was snug. Like when we left then, it had um, cleared out, which is a bit weird for a Saturday morning. But um, 
yeah, we, we were packed right in close to each other and um, yeah, the water issue, so they recommend that you fill your tanks on your, or if you got tanks on your van, and then you gotta use your own pump on board to then have showers and stuff. So the water pressure, it's gravity fed, so it's not strong enough to have showers or anything if it's hooked up directly. Which was fine. Yeah. Um, and we and luckily like we knew about it and they're very open about it um, but obviously like we only needed we had both half tank full and so we were like okay yeah cool we'll plug in um, it'll be finished well before we need to leave and we were yeah still Are you hungry? okay hang on darling um, yeah we were waiting for it still to I finish want some filling cashews. I want some cashews. cashews please okay um, so yeah it's I don't know. Uh, like, I'm glad to be leaving a caravan park. It was good for a couple of days of a bit of a refresh. Um, but the other thing is, while moving every day is really draining, it's also really hard. The pack up after staying still for a couple of days is yeah. really hard. Like, it's when you're moving every day, I don't know, like, the same amount of stuff comes out, I guess, but you're just so used to it, it just. I don't know, it gets, little things get forgotten or it just takes a lot longer when you've been pulled up for a couple of days. So after packing up, after three days there, we're pooped. It's also already like 35 degrees or something like that. So that is the next thing. So yeah, we have three days booked at Paluby, which was booked well in advance because you can't get there and we fluked a site. Um, so that's another thing we will touch on is the freaking booking system for these sites. We were so excited to just cruise around Australia because that's what everyone says you can do. You can just cruise around and you can go to all your favorite places and it's not a problem. It is a problem. Yeah. And I've just watched someone advertising that this is how they book and then they move their dates and then they just roll them over until they get the exact ones they want. But that means that no one else is able to book and it is so frustrating. So I have just spent what I thought was gonna be just rolling on through and yeah booking a few bits here and there and caravan parks but we're talking beach camps we're talking what's supposed to be pretty much free off-grid camping and it is like dog eat dog out there um so yeah it's we can't even get certain places on the west coast that we we're gonna have to stop somewhere yep. because there's the whole coast is booked out. So yeah, it's stressful. But the same thing for the Paluby. Um, so a few, it used to be completely free and free to camp along the beach, kind of like royalty. Um, and I guess people, being people, have ruined that, unfortunately. So now there's 20 sites. There's only 20 sites available now. Um, and you have to, be fully self-contained and the, it's hard to get a spot. It's booked out all the time now. So we fluked a cancellation. So we're here, but onto what it started up, it is a heat wave. It is not going to get below about 26 degrees overnight for the next four days. And we have three days there. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, it's lucky we're on the coast. Yeah. Anything like Hopefully that breeze can save us a little bit because it's gonna be hot. It, and yeah, like we've talked about getting a solar blanket, but we haven't got one yet because it hasn't really been that hot. We've only turned the aircon on once. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. We're heading to Baluby. I'm excited, but it's gonna be a stinker. I'm excited, it'll be good. I guess we go somewhere past these huts and somewhere down this way. We're at Boyd's just here letting down the tires a bit. I think this beach is a bit softer than Waralti. Where are you going to? What do you mean? What are you going to? Uh, probably 23, 24. 23, roughly. It's blowy. It's a little bit windy and it's hot. Let's not get bogged. So 
I think we've decided to go completely side on to the dunes, as side on as we can go. Um, it is absolutely blowing a gale here. Well, not a gale, but it's not not enjoyable. Oh, sheesh, 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 Don't do that. Yeah, I can box. Actually gross. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. That's that's as far as you're gonna get it. Sheesh. What do you mean? I don't know. She's gonna sink. Yeah. We don't really have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. We finished! We have some cake now. It just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Two more tires to go. So, we've decided to leave. Um, we've decided that it's just a beach. Yeah. And it is not worth it. Scarlett got outside just for so, a so week. So we're going to stay somewhere else. So the weather report here, it was saying flood the next three days. It's got to be just like this. Blowing a gale. Okay. Flies everywhere. 39, 40 degrees. So we've, we've called it. We're not going to enjoy it here. Like yeah. Kayla said, it's just a beach. It's just a beach. The, the van, we've been pulled up for an hour and the van is already full of sand. Um, uh, we can't be outside because it's like in our eyes. We can't be inside because it's too bloody hot. Um, and for the kids as well. Yeah, like, like, you can't have Lincoln out in this. This is ridiculous. No. Nah. So, so I, can, I can see why people rave about it. It's a beautiful beach, but not for us this time around. Not this time. Um, unfortunately, because yeah, we've now spent two hours oh. trying to. Oh, we've got it's cold enough. <laughs> We're back on. So, what do I do? Retry. Oh, I've turned it off. Hang on. Okay. So, yeah, we're all hot. We're sick of the car, but we're gonna, I mean, I guess sacrifice our 60 bucks because we're booked here. So, it's a loss of money, um, but it's just, yeah, for us, not worth it. We've always said that if it's not, enjoyable we're not gonna hang around so maybe we'll try again next time so we will uh, pump these tires back up and we're all gonna be absolutely red raw because no one has sunscreen on because we weren't expecting to take this long you are sweating up a storm it is yeah. dripping off your snows it's bloody hot um yeah we're gonna get these tires pumped up and head i don't know somewhere all right we are at where are we at Point. Point Brown. Brown. Cliff Tops Campground, Point Brown. But yeah, honestly. Point Brown! How cool. Considering the day we've had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty disappointed we've had to um, bail on three days of Kaluby. But this is free. And it's not so. windy. And it's actually quite cool here. It's 
a bit cooler and we're not getting absolutely peppered by sand. There is no way we could have had Lincoln out anywhere at Kaluby. And if it wasn't so hot, he might've been okay to stay in the van, but it was disgusting. It, it, there was nothing. And this is the best there. swimming day ever. There you go. <laughs> we're gonna go find some pretty cool rock pools by the looks of it. Yes, so. looks good from up here. Yeah. This is one of the rock pools we found. There's one that's got a constant flow from the ocean, even at low tide, so that one's a bit chilly, but these ones are beautiful. And there's another one sort of over the rocks there. Bit of a steep climb down to the beach. Heaps of art. Do you see all those rusted out star droppers as well? Yeah. Four on one of them, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, beautiful here right now. Trying to escape the full degree heat. Alrighty, we are out of here. It's um, 9 o'clock, 9.30-ish. It's glassy, yeah, pick that up. Um, but yeah, we are heading off. Yesterday turned out to be just not the best day for us. Um, I think the expectation of staying at Paluby was really high and we really were just keen on just having three days at a beach, it was supposed to be nice, beautiful weather. Um, so yeah, I think that got to everyone. Um, look, if you're coming here for the rock pools, we didn't think all that much of them. They're pretty, um, they're pretty either full of weed or um, not very big or yeah, I don't know. But if you're here for a one nighter, it's lovely. Uh, I'm just gonna put this oh, glass in my pocket somewhere. We'd put the where the frick? He's put the bag in upside down. Who puts a bag in upside down that we need to access? What an idiot. Um but yeah, so it was great for the one nighter. We are all refreshed and ready for a better day today. Um, look, you gotta take the good with the bad. Um, it was good to get out. Scarlett seems to think that swimming was awesome yesterday. So that's a win, really. Oh, but, turn up, pack in. Yeah, we're good to go. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future adventures. Catch you next time.